But the way that you sit, the way that you posture yourself, um, kind of sets before you the the options of things that you can see and that you can do. Uh, my question is, uh, how do we live as Christians and relate to uh, other religions in the world? Um, my issue is, I think, more of a subject. I don't know. Um, atonement theories is what I want to learn about. What exactly is a calling? What does it mean to be called? One is, uh, are men and women called in different ways? My issue has to do with peace, uh, more, actually, more accurately, war, and how it was handled in the Bible. Why shouldn't we put this on, on the video? I can think of a couple of reasons. It's only lemonade <laughs> and mate. Mate is not that dangerous. Now, um, so how is your faith, how is your faith system, how is your faith structure uh, prepared you to think about anti-oppression work in general? And anti-oppression work is just sort of working against all the isms. So if God does have a sense of humor, yeah. what what does that say about us? Or what should it say about us? That we can all lighten up a little bit if we are taking ourselves too seriously. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We, we've actually mentioned several of what I would call fairly important theological um, perspectives on baptism in, in, this, in these minutes, including the fact that we don't believe that baptism is what saves repentance and faith and that says that God saves us. Augustine says that this is inspired. This, right here. This is scripture. Because of the 70 or mm -hmm. 72. Because of the 70 legend. Right? This is the holy word of God. Not the Hebrew. Jerome says, what are you nuts? This was, the books were written in Hebrew. This is the inspired word of God.
to you all here that I will not offer incense to the emperor and I will not be his soldier. I am not a soldier. 